Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thanks so much for joining us today. We have a new box. This one is a 20 pound box out of Georgia. Um, my mom has already processed this box. She's cleaned it, she's sorted it for us so we can just look at beautiful jewelry and not so much tangles this time around. She did this box on June 27th. I love her little heart, I love my mom. And she put this little tab here so we could rip it off and maybe get me away from scissors, but that's a whole nother problem. So, <laughs> all right, let's take a look. And I don't know if I've got, if I've received a box from Georgia. So we're gonna give this a go. Wow, okay. What are these? Oh, holy cow. Okay, we're going to start with, um, oh my gosh, these, these ginger snap type things. Well, we're going to take a look at this. Look at all this. Holy cow. And? Looks like we're going to start with a big bag of maybe craft. All right. Uh, looks like we're off to a really good start. Let me change gears. Let me move to the desk and we'll get started. Okay, we've changed cameras. Okay, now the first thing that is on top was this big bag. It looks like we have pieces with tags still, which is very cool. Okay, and it looks like we might have gin actual ginger snap and then off brand. So, you know what? Let me look at all these. Okay, let me get this out and let me take a look and let's see what we have. Okay, I have them spread out. All right, we have a little mix. We have this little group here that isn't marked. All of this is marked. We have these kind of random charms. I think that go on more like a Pandora style bracelet. We have these four. We've got three that are still with tags and this used one that are all marked ginger snap and then we have this group which is not marked but the ginger snap still seem to fit so we have all of these that are marked ginger snaps in this little group right here that's not but what i don't understand because i'm not strong with this brand is that i have this one that is marked and then i have four that look uh, just like it that are not so did they, were they in the habit of like selling a set, but marking like one of them, you know, like sometimes earrings, you know, one is marked, one is not kind of thing. So this is the only group that isn't marked yet. Several of these appear in this group. And then look at this group of like sodalite and snowflake obsidian. I mean, there is a lot of great stuff in here. I just, I'm telling you, look at this. I love these and this enameling, look how pretty. So, you know, I, I would probably sell this maybe as, I don't know, maybe one big kit. I mean, you could sell some, keep some, I don't know. Well, we can talk about it, but look at it all. How cool is that? Great way to start a box. Okay, that doesn't look like a bracelet. All right, well, let's look. Okay, well, this is in still decent shape maybe a stone there that's kind of pretty oh come on now it's almost christmas my uh my lights are definitely well you can see how much sparkle this thing has this is very cool okay i like that this one has initials, CPM, I'm not sure if that, and a mark, if this was the brand or 
This is Anson. So obviously somebody's initials. Okay. Oh, this is Lucky Brand. This has like, it's kind of like cork, you know, wood cork. And then it has some, looks like, like druzy kind of uh, pyrite kind of going on there. That is very nice. Okay. Some, a little bit of wear going on, but really, that is still pretty nice looking. Oh, that's fun. That's a clamper. Nice enameling. How fun is that for spring? That is definitely, um, that's a little hefty. wonder if this had, uh, you know, like a set maybe with a watch. I don't know. Okay, this one looks to be in really good shape too. Wow, this box already has some great stuff. Um, little scuffing. This is wood. Somebody could fix that, but I'm going to put that in craft. Definitely fashion. It's plastic. Um, you know, it looks okay, but you know, it's got like a little nick. Let's go ahead and put that in craft too. Wow, oh, that's interesting. Okay. And so is this. Kind of like the scepter. Well, all right then. Oh, look at this one. You know, it's too bad it's not David, right? But it's cool looking. All right, is this bangle? Oh, this is going to be a, a clamper. That's pretty. I've got the enameling and the cat's eye. All right. This box, so far, is starting off pretty good. Okay, I love this. I don't think I'm going to... Mm, I probably could. I'm not going to, or I'll constantly be wearing it. Uh, I won't get it off. All right, what, it, what is this? Let's see. Oh, oh, it's like a little jewelry box or pill carrier, or I think it's going to be like... I wonder if somebody had... These shells are gorgeous. If they had maybe like a pearl necklace in here and that's how they displayed it or maybe this was a you know a touristy item that is beautiful okay this looks like a shell let's oh oh, oh look at that one. Oh my gosh oh my gosh that is so pretty Oh my gosh, what if you put some pearl earrings? Oh, that has a nice snap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> look at this look at that that absolute shimmer going on right there. I hope the camera picks that up. This these two are really, really cool, but this is this is amazing. Okay. Um the you know, I, before I get off topic, here are the brand <laughs> the big bracelets. <laughs> and here are these two shell boxes these are gorgeous all right let me get this out of the way and let's pull some more bags i just grabbed like a handful of bags oh my gosh you know it's been so long that i forgot almost how much jewelry comes in 20 pounds oh my good grief oh my gosh look at this broken marked but broken <gasps> look at that right there Oh my gosh. Okay, and then marked. This looks like maybe smalls. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I I can't even tell you how much is still in this box. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just let's just work it out. Let's see. Okay, now that is fun. Everybody always seems to love whether it's faux or 
real. These are very cool, the coin jewelry. Okay, these look like they're all going to be bracelets. Or anklets. Could be anklets. Okay. Okay, it looks like some of these may be homemade. But look how cute these little glass, like, evil eye beads are. These are wooden. Looks like we're going to have a, a mixture of glass, wooden. This one definitely does. Oh, that's pretty. The cross looks like a little wear, but you know what? I think that's kind of the charm, right? And then, you know, obviously these are... Ugh, could you imagine if these were in Decolite? That would be amazing. Uh, this is a really fun fashion. Wow, look at this. Wooden and, you know, that plastic acrylic. Uh-oh. Okay, we have, oops. Okay, that's going to go in craft. Hey, if your name is within an E. Really, you know, some of this stuff is just worth quite a bit more than the overall piece. I mean, materials right now, just looking at pricing online, isn't it's nuts how much people want for beads and chains and ugh, it is, it's outrageous. But then too, you know, I mean, everything's up right now. This is just sweet as all oh, get out. I love that. Okay, well, this is kind of like a Pandora charm. Oh, but look at this little enamel shoe. The little dress. Oh, the money bag. And then, obviously, the Chanel. Okay, these are really cool. That's really a nice shape. All right. Guys, we are going to have one huge sale at the end of all of these boxes. My gosh. There's a boatload of jewelry. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. All right, more bracelets. These are very cool. Okay. Oh, those are shell. You know what? Oh, it is stretch. Instead of this being a bracelet, what if you turn this into like quite a few pairs of earrings? Oh, that would be cool. And then use this as the bracelet. I think because these, you know, you see a lot more of this than you do that. Although the two of them together look nice. Mm, yeah, those are stone. That's a cute bracelet. Look at that. Uh, you know what? I bet it, there was a hang tag here, I bet. This was probably marked. I think these are acrylic. Yeah. You know, it, unfortunately, it's really cold in here today. And uh, these are plastic. So I'm having a, you know, a little harder time telling on some of the really nicer beads. Okay, so this one we have like Mother of Pearl. We have gemstone and blue gold stone. Okay, and because it's kind of like this, I, I would definitely uh, take this more for the beads. I think it's worth more that way. Oh, pretty shell stretch. Okay, little tiny beads. Oh, these would probably be good for spacer beads. A little bit of tarnishing, but not too, too bad. And then that one too. All right. Okay, so far this bag has quite a few neck, uh, bracelets. Oh, look, I think these are more. Ooh. Those are glass. Those would be great for repurposing. Oh, this is kind of like the Kendra Scott kind of look to it. These are glass, too. So are these. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Mm. Those look good together. These are glass. That looks good together. These are too. You know what? That is a nice set. Oh, here are little tiny 
seed beads. Oh, these are glass too. Wow, look at these. Uh, feels like faux pearl glass beads. But this is this is a great little group right here, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, this is a tag. It looks like somebody did this for probably sale. But there's nice beads if you don't like the actual bracelet. Let's see this one. Oh, all right. These have like um like a rough polish. So they've got that frosted look. Nice. Oh, pretty. Ugh. Okay, wedding jewelry, prom jewelry. Nice too. Pretty. Oh, that really is. That's in really great shape. I know I'm getting fixated. My bad, my bad. Um, these feel like gemstone and a little bit of rhinestone action going on. Hey, okay, this is a great little bag. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, it looks like boho e. You know what? That one, this one's got just a little bit of a hmm where they finished it, but look at all the beads. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to put that in the craft. You know, leather, faux leather, faux stone. Little love bracelet somebody made probably. Okay, what is happening here? Oh, got it. <laughs> hmm. Aren't those pretty? Okay, they're acrylic, but fun fashion. Almost kind of like that scarab look going on. Almost reminds me of a coffee bean. I like it. Pearl, glass beads, faux jewelry, uh, faux druzy. But the magnet is still good. All right, that be somebody could do something with that. Faux pearls, some nice rhinestones. Oh, I bet somebody made this. Look how pretty. Great choice of colors, too. I hope I don't have the lights too high. Little Shambhala. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. Okay. So definitely uh, no stretch. So on and off. But the neutral colors. Love that. Here is another multi-strand. You know, you either kind of love these or you hate them. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot in the middle here. These are all like acrylic. That's pretty. Definitely beads to, to have, let me tell you. Oh, that one's got a nice big chip. Okay, let's, but look at the wooden beads. Let's put that in craft. Oh, that's pretty. All the little seed beads are all hooked together. Oh, that's a statement. Acrylic. And glass. Looks like maybe even a little real stone. And then it has the little dangles. Hmm. I like that. Pretty, 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 and then, oh. <laughs> oh, that is fun and funky. How cool is that? That is a statement. If you like chunky and, ch I mean, you could make that an anklet because of this. I mean, you could 
definitely layer that. Wow. Although it can stand on its own. Okay, nice. Okay. Marked and broken. Okay, I spotted this right off. Ugh. Look at those big... They are prong set. Heart rhinestones. Wow. That is cool. And this is... I, I wish I were not blind as a bat these days. Tracy Lynn. Okay, a little bit of wear going on. But not bad. Oh, wait a minute. This is mocked but broken. These might be marked. Hold on. This is Bella, and yeah, it's definitely broken, but wow, look at the rhinestones. Okay, that is cool. Oh, that's too bad, but wow, you could certainly do something with that. And then this. I'm assuming this came off of that. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. But, more beautiful things for craft. All right. Okay, I get it. So, yeah, this is marked. These are marked. And then, Jenny Bird. Never heard of that. But, whoa, that's a nice shape. really nice shape. Usually these are destroyed. Okay. All right. All right. Here, let's put you over here. Nakamole. Ugh. Look at those glass beads. Nice and long. Oof, love that one. Fashion. Love that. Sugar fix. Wow, that's pretty long, too. Okay, that is a nice statement without being so in your face. And because it's long enough, you could certainly layer that. Ooh. Okay. These are faux pearls. KR. Lightweight. Great layering piece, too. This is going to be an Avon pick. Oh, no, it's going to be a Premier Design. Yep, Premier Design. Oh, and clankability. You know what? We had something very similar to this. Oh, quite some time ago. Okay, with the abalone. Uh, the only thing I'm not real crazy about would be the... Oh, that's an extender. Okay, so the part that I'm not crazy about is this extender right here, which is, is more of a gold tone, which I'm not crazy about because the rest of it is like a silver tone. But I will attach this anyway because people are really not going to notice that. So we will include that because somebody may enjoy it. 
Ugh, I'm loving that. All right. Monet. Oh, it's a, like a newer Monet. Oh, you know what? I think we had earrings at some point that probably matched this. That's pretty. Love the colors. Perfect for this season. That is for sure. Okay, let's see who this is. Okay, this Tracy Lynn again. So we have these faux pearls, double strand, with these great glass beads with a little bit of AB action going on here. And then these rhinestone rondelles. Look at how big the rhinestone rondelles are. That is gorgeous. Okay, this is lightweight. 1946. Okay, big C. Okay, faux. And then we have like, you know, like maybe like a faux leather. Could be a real leather. And then these are definitely lightweight and probably some glass beads here. So a nice little mixed media. And this is by best. Wow, I think, you know what? This is probably one of the bigger pieces by best I've seen. Looks like gemstone chips, acrylic, metal. I think we've got some glass beads here too. Wow, look at all that going on. That is very cool. All right, you know what? Before we get into the plates, let me get this all put away and let me clear some stuff off. All right, let's see what's in the paper plates. This looks very much like a Kendra Scott. And the chain, hmm, the chain definitely has some issues. This is definitely a Kendra Scott type style. But the chain, hmm, I think could use probably a re replacement. I think you probably just take that off and repurpose that little bit. religious piece. I love when they have the, uh, it's, it's dimensional, you know, it's got the dome and everything. So it gives it a little more interest. That's beautiful. Kind of like a wheat, right? It's still in really good shape. Let's see about this one here. This one? Mm -hmm. Um, you can start to see, you know, the like coppers coming through. I think this still has some life in it and you probably, it's probably more like a plated. So you could maybe polish it just a little bit. Certainly use it for craft. Oh, this has an older style clasp. Look at that. I love those. I'm not real good at, you know, working them, but I love them. I think they're so unique. All right. Doesn't look like a lot of loss here. So really, I think that one would be kind of fun to repurpose or just wear as a layering piece. This matches that one bracelet. Oh, can you hear the wind? I, I might have to close the window. All of a sudden, we, we had wind. This, the, I really think this matches that bracelet. I will see about getting the bracelet out. These are acrylic. Las Vegas dollar. Ooh. Um, I have a little bit of vertigrain going on here. Ok, 
capital of the world. Yeah, I will see about cleaning that, but yeah, it says Las Vegas dollar. How fun is that? Okay, but let's pull that off because we don't really want it near anything else. Oh, that's dainty. That's pretty. The enameling? This would be so pretty. Okay. Alright, I didn't spill anything. We're having a good day. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope your day is, you know, it's uh, Monday here when I'm filming. So hopefully, whatever day you see this, it is a good one. These are prong set, very dainty, not bad shape, nice. Okay, well, it looks like we, maybe in a jewelry glass or something? I don't know, it's pretty cool. We've got the, the two specimen here, the gemstone specimens, and it looks like they were trying to put these in here. And then you've got this gold tone chain. Actually, the chain is in a really nice shape. That's not bad. That's kind of funky and wonky and all at the same time. Okay, I guess I should say that same with this. How cute is this? Okay, we've got like a, almost like a little prom dress or... Maybe she's going to be a ballerina. And look at her shoes. Ugh. Okay, she is cute. And this is rose gold tone. That really is a cute piece. Okay, now the garbage people are coming. Oh my gosh. Today is, is probably not my day. <laughs> I hope yours is. Alright, that looks like we've got a mother of pearl. Looks like all of the rhinestones are there. They're like an AB blue with the little tiny cross on a mother of pearl. That's really pretty. Oh, this is long. Oh, you know what? This one would probably layer nicely with that one. Okay, these are lightweight. That'd be a fun layering piece. So with this one, with the Sleeping Beauty looking color here. Well, all right then, let me put this back. Before I put this away, yes, the Coffee Bean Scarab looking bracelet. It does match that one. So we are going to have the set to that. Beautiful. Okay, the bottom plate, this one says Marked. A look these look like all little glass and stone beads you have to have a little tiny neck for that the miss would probably do real well with this um you know I don't know the symbol I will have to look it up but this will be a choker, maybe a little bit of a collar if you have a small neck, but look how pretty that is. Those are gorgeous, but I do not know that symbol. This is KR. The pendant looks pretty good. The chain, hmm, maybe not so much on the chain. Oh, this is an older one. Oh, a little bit of condition. A little bit of wear. Somebody loved this. Oh, and I know this symbol. This one I'm going to have to look up. It looks like a sword. But it has a little bit of little condition. I will work on that one. Let me put that one over there. And, oh, the matching bracelet. 
but I will look in the database. I know the I know the mark. It's it's in the database. So I will look. Whiting and Davis. Okay, this one looks like just a teeny bit out of shape. There it goes. A little out of shape there. Little wear. I will work on that. We're kind of a newer piece that looks like an Art Deco piece. It's kind of cool. This one. Taylor. We have this acrylic drop, two big nice rhinestones, big chunky, like an antiqued gold. That's fun. Oh, that's pretty. This is pretty. Airmish? That's interesting. Those are beautiful color, uh, glass colored beads. Look at those. With the AB treatment and faceting. Okay, that's pretty. Don't know the brand. We'll have to certainly look that up. Okay, well, this Premier Design. That's the pendant. This does not look like it came with this. So maybe one of the chains will work for that but look at that that's a great little piece all on its own to repurpose and that is a d and this is a really pretty enameled clover okay Oh, JCM stainless, but I think, yep, we're missing some rhinestones. So it's a clamper, it's a tight clamper, but we're missing a few things. So that's going to go into craft. Here's an Alex and Ani. And look at the, look at the pineapple, how cute is that? Okay, the tags, all of the little hang tags are in really nice shape. I've seen so many lately, and they're all, mm, all kind of destroyed. All right. KM, oh, oh, Roman. Stretch. Lighter weight. Oh, here's another... Leah Sophia. So here is definitely another pendant. All right, so we have some bits and pieces. This has a little tag. Too chic. Silver tone glass beads. Oh, I can get behind that already. So this is, sorry if you hear the mister. He's in a meeting in the next room. 2028. Okay. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. It says love. SM. Not sure. SM. Okay. Well, this one looks like someone absolutely loved it to death. Okay, this one. This would be that one, you know? That one that you go, mm hmm. I got it, I got it, don't move. <laughs> okay, I'm loving the closure to start with. Okay, this is. Oh, it's Givenchy. Givenchy. Oh, 
Ugh. Okay, look at the rhinestones. That blue, and then the blue carries through the leaf design. Oh, wow, that really is beautiful. Wow, that's a nice find. Givenger. Okay, you know what? We had some nice marked pieces in this box, including a few pieces. Kind of digging it. And I emptied out the miscellaneous bag. This is where mom will put anything that's, you know, just kind of random, but generally too nice to go in the craft bag. All right, the first thing that caught my eye was this enhancer. So you could put this on some pearls or gemstones. So you could have it be without the rhinestones or with. And man, this really is a nice piece. And then there is this one with the faux gems. And then this has one missing right there. But I didn't even notice it. I thought that was going to be something yellow. So that's why that one is in here. Then look at this mother of pearl. That's a great pendant. This pendant, this locket, is uh, very reminiscent of Origami Owl. It's not marked, but it has some cute little charms in there. This would be a gemstone piece. I'm not sure what this is. Um, to me, it looks like, you know, um, an agate or carnelian, but I'm not sure what the shape represents, but it's very cool. And then you have this druzy stone and somebody has set it in this ring and it's got the greens and a little bit of this lavender color. It's really, really pretty. And then I'm not sure if this was like a purse charm or a bookmark, but this has some great ceramic beads, especially this one. Look at that one. And then there are some random little, you know, fashion rings. This one has like this cute little stretch, but look at the rhinestones. And then it has <clears throat> like this one, you could add your own piece to it. These are rhinestones. And then you have the butterfly and then this one. You know what? This one definitely is missing a little tiny one, but it's hard to tell. Especially if you paired it with like something like that. So this is the miscellaneous. We have the little key and the little bookmark and whatnot. So this will probably all get sell, you know, sold as a as a group. But we'll find out. But I'm telling you, I like this one that one and this one for sure those are those are fantastic